How's it going sports fans? Holgins here. On this video I'm going to be talking about my Pascat helmet or especially the helmet cover that I have made for it. If you've been looking at my Instagram account you've probably seen quite a few photos of me using that helmet with that cover. It's inspired by Operation Just Cause in 1989, especially the 2nd Ranger Battalion in Rio Hado. It's, it was not limited to Rangers, of course, there were other units that were using it as well. The reason, according to my research, was IFF, so you can distinguish friend from foe. Since the Panamanian Defense Force was also using M16s and woodland camouflage, it was difficult to distinguish friend from foe, especially during dark. So they, before they boarded the planes, they were brought a lot of old camouflage BDUs and some netting and they were told to make these covers. So this is how I made my cover and this is not the only way to do it, but this is how I did it. So without further ado, here it is. So as I said, I cut strips from an old Woodland BDU. It's not from the 80s, I used a 2000 version just because, well, cutting on an 80s BDU, even if it's a bit beaten up, it's, it's mean, man. It's, I mean, come on, it's just wrong. Don't do it. Well, if you do, I feel sorry for the BDU. Uh, anyways, uh, so you, I cut strips about 30 centimeters long of that BDU, and I the netting I used, it was just old uh, camo netting that I had handy. I laid the netting on top of the helmet, like this, and I cut it to the shape of the helmet along the outer edges here, on the bottom. And once I've done that, I remove the camouflage part from the netting. You don't have to remove the camo, I did it. It's one way of doing it. If you don't want to remove it, then don't. It's that simple. And to attach the strips of, from the woodland BDUs, I used Got It 550 cord. Uh, I took two meters of 550 cord and I pulled the inside out from the from the cord and I used the smaller or thinner strings to attach the strips to the helmet. I used about 10 centimeters, they were about 10 centimeters long and I used those to attach the strips to the camo netting. And a tip to on when you're doing that lay the netting on top of the helmet and use the helmet band that you have on your helmet to keep the netting in place. So that way you can see that straight away where you need more strips, where you don't probably need as many strips. So it kind of like makes it attaching or making it look like the way you want it a lot easier than it would be. And the 550 core that you got it, take the outer part once you've added all the netting or you can do this before you add the netting or the strips it's completely up to you so take the got it 550 cord on the outside part of it and tie it to the bottom portion of the netting here and then just take it inside and tie it to the helmet i use the uh, suspension system on the helmet and the suspension system is attached to the Pascat with uh, screws, so I just tie the paracord to those screws and it's really secure and it's not going anywhere. You can use other parts inside the helmet as well, like the straps which run around, which are attached by the screws. I've done that as well, it just depends on how, how I want to do it at that moment. Just as long as it's secure. Uh, I have six pieces of paracord attached to the helmet on uh, like three on the each, each side so I, I found out that's more than enough for me I and mean, the cover keeps keeps in place so any way you want to do it you can do it just make sure that the paracord and the cover doesn't bother you at it in any way since this helmet might be uncomfortable for some to wear so you don't want to make it even more un uncomfortable uh, Pro tip, speaking of comfort, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the pad that I have on the middle of the helmet, I cut that from a foam mattress. And so that's to prevent if my headband is loose or the helmet band on the inside is loose and the helmet pushes on top of my head, the string that runs across which keeps the helmet on the correct height if it 
like <clears throat> rests on top of my head, I get a really bad headache. So I took a piece of foam mattress and I attached that to the strings on the inside. So it's a lot more comfortable now. So I actually like wearing this helmet and I, I wear it voluntarily nowadays since it's, I mean, come on, it's a really cool helmet anyway. But there you have it in a nutshell, the Pascat helmet and the cover that I made for it, inspired by Operation Just Cause in Panama. If you have any questions, just drop a comment, and don't, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that usual jazz, and check out my Instagram account as well, I have some photos up of this specific helmet with my Operation Just Cause Ranger Kit. And I think that's it for, for now. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.